This is the Speak for Yourself Augmentative and Alternative Communication app, and I'm Heidi Lestraco. This video is going to teach you how to add or edit words in the Speak for Yourself app. So if you want to add a new button, or if you want to change a button that is already in the app, this is the video for you. So the first thing you want to do is decide, of course, on the word that you'd like to add. And then you want to decide where you're going to add that vocabulary word. So once you add it somewhere, that doesn't matter as much as once you add it, leaving it where you've put it so that your child and the, and the people using the AAC system with the child or client are able to learn the motor plan and be able to find it. So you choose where you're going to categorize it, where you're going to put it. So for example, if we want to add the word pickle, I'm going to say, because, you know, when we these, these developers didn't put the word pickle in the app, what were they thinking? So we're going to add it in here, and I'm going to choose to put it under eat. So I'm going to touch the eat button, and I've closed a lot of vocabulary. If this is the first video you're watching with the open-close feature up on the top right-hand corner, in the top right-hand um, side, that what that does is that eliminates a lot of the vocabulary that is showing so that you're able to focus and learn where the words are in the app and build your language. So what you're going to do is once you're on the page where you want to add something, in the top left hand corner you're going to touch the edit button and it's going to show you, it's going to have a, gray, a grayed out screen of everything that is closed within the app. So if you're going to add a new word you can either change it, change one of the words that you know you're not you're not going to use and is not um, useful to your child or you could just select the blank button. So I'm going to just um, select a blank button here and I would just caution about deleting too many words because even if you say my child doesn't eat all of these foods somebody else might be eating them so it might be something that's still motivating for them to talk about or they might want to be able to say that you know they don't like burritos or they don't like enchiladas. So I just kind of consider that before you just delete it and say that my child doesn't eat any of these foods. So what you're going to do is to add a word. You're, we already decided we're going to add the word pickle. If you had a plate of pickles in front of you or a um, jar of pickles and you wanted to actually take a picture, you could do that. I don't happen to have a jar of pickles in front of me, but I'm just going to show you. If I touch image options, you, you see kind of in the center where that pop-up window is, it's going to give me the option to either take a photo or choose a photo. So I'm going to say take a photo. And if I had pickles in front of me, right, whoops, if I had pickles in front of me, this would be great. I'd take a picture and then it would go into the button. So I'm just going to do that. And you see all my cords and wires and floor, but we're not going to do that. I'm going to say use the photo just so you can kind of see how it works and you see how it puts the photo right in there. Um, so because we're not going to do that, what we're going to do is let me cancel this out really quickly. And I'm going to go back in here. So I, do you see where it says add image and then it says none under here? I'm going to select add image and what that's going to do is bring up the library of over 11,000 Smarty symbols. So what you can do here is you could type in the word that you're looking for. So I'm going to type pickle. Okay, and now you see I have my option for pickle, pickles. I'm going to select the first one. And now it put that symbol in there. And you'll also notice down at the word to speak, it also um, populated that with the name of the symbol. If, you're, if you wanted to change that, you could go ahead in there and you could change that to cucumber or dill pickle or whatever it is that you know you think that you want that button to say when your child pushes it or your the user pushes it. If you are good with it saying pickle and you don't want to change anything else, um, you could select done what you, and you're absolutely done. The other option that you have is cell color. You can actually change the background color. So if you really wanted it to stand out and you said, okay, I want it to be, um, say, bright yellow, you could select that. And now you see the background of it is bright yellow. And if you're happy with the way that button looks, on the right-hand side, it's showing you how the button is going to look then you can select done in the top right hand corner and then you want to select done in the top left hand corner to get out of edit. If you're going to add several words you could go ahead and do that. If you wanted to change um, if you wanted to change a button 
you could go over here. So do you see on the um, top, the top row on the left hand side where it says chips? I'm going to go in that and say I wanted to change the symbol to something else. I could select this right in the button where the chips are and I could change change it to a different symbol. Or what I could oops, I'm sorry, or what I could do is go back here to edit. And if I wanted it to say potato chips, I could do that as an example, or if there's a specific kind of chips that your child likes, you could do that, or you can also add that button as well. But just in as, as an example, if you want to change something about the button, you can go ahead in there and edit it, and then you can select done, and then done again, and now that's going to change, you saw change to potato chips, and then I'm going to select done. Because that potato chips button was closed, what we could do is we can go in here and touch open close, and we can open it back up again, just so you can see it. So now you see you have pickle and you have potato chips um, and that's open on the secondary screen. Now when you select pickle, it's going to speak that word and go up into the message window. So now you've added a new word. If you wanted to add from your camera roll or if you wanted to add in a different category, all you would do is go ahead in here. So say I wanted to add now McDonald's. So I want, you know, my child, they get so excited every time they go buy McDonald's, they want the french fries and it's not healthy, but like every child, um, you know, you want to give them the option to be able to still ask for it, even if you say no, and you want them to have the words to be able to ask. So I'm going to go into Go, and I'm going to select Edit, again, in the top left-hand corner, and then I'm just going to pick one of these blank boxes over here on the right-hand side, and I want to enter the word McDonald's. So in the word to speak, I'm going to say, all right, I wanted to say McDonald's, Sorry, I'm not the fastest typer. So I wanted to say McDonald's. And then I wanted to use um, an option from my camera roll. So what you could do is you could save um, icons and symbols and um, photos from your camera roll. So I'm going to select Choose Photo. And now you see I have in my photos the golden arches. So I'm going to select that. And I'm going to say Use. And now I am done. And I'm going to select done again in the top left hand corner. So now you have McDonald's in there. If you forget where you've put them, and I know we talked about this a little bit, and I'm just going to briefly say in the search feature, if you don't remember where you've put them, what you could actually do is go in here to this search feature in the top left hand corner. And if you type in MC, you see it's going to bring up McDonald's. So I'm going to touch that. And what it will do is it will navigate you to show you. So you don't have to worry that you know you programmed it a week ago and now you're seeing your you know little student again and you forget where you've added words. So it'll navigate you to be able to show you where those words are. Okay, so that is how to add or edit buttons in the Speak for Yourself app. Thank you so much.